Marvellous. Hello. How are we today? Uh, I personally am doing pretty good. Uh, thanks for asking. And we're back with a, uh, I suppose, a look at what's going on, what's coming up in my attempts to run a business. Um, what I'm finding is that, uh, to be honest, if I was watching this, I might get a little bit bored of the setting. So I'm excited tomorrow that we're going to have footage that isn't of me just quite here in this room. But at the same time, what I'd say is that is very reflective of what it's actually like to run your own business. A lot of repetition, which is not a bad thing. Um, and to be honest, yeah, I mean, I could be in an office, I could be in a coffee shop, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm doing the basic things and following the processes I've created for myself. And ultimately, you know, if you do that well over time, the business grows, hopefully. So what's coming up for me today? Uh, yeah, interesting topic, um, I think for me is, uh, I feel like day to day running your own business and particularly working with agency owners as your clients, um, it can be very volatile in terms of how you feel about things, how they're going for you, uh, what you're hearing from one agency owner compared to another, it can be very up and down. So I wrote a list of topics that I thought might be interesting to to speak about this week on Sunday evening, I think it was. Um, and already thinking how I felt when I writ wrote out those topics versus how I feel now means that I feel in a very different place to talk about some of this stuff. So for example, I was very frustrated at the start of the week, um, just in the sense of I've never had so many sales conversations or conversations with potential clients but i've never had so many of them not go anywhere and so in the past i was i would have probably almost i would have been quite open about this and that i felt like my strike rate from and my conversion from contact to initial conversation to then a discovery call um i would have felt that last part was pretty high and that's a case of getting someone to make a seven hundred eight hundred euro commitment um which is quite a lot of money like i mean let's let's be honest but i was seeing success in doing that whereas now in the last week or two it's it's actually not been like that at all i, I feel like you have to work quite hard to get those people to make that commitment um or maybe i'm just being impatient and that it's taking a little bit longer than it has in the past and i'm struggling with that but either way, I think a really interesting thing to, to discuss and look at a little bit is about how um, I suppose we can set ourselves these expectations. And in my case, I have a, a habit of maybe setting expectations that are too high or generally too high is not the right phrase. It's just I, I, I want things to move quicker than in reality they ever will in my business specifically. And it is impatience, um, I think. But it's also misunderstanding to an extent, maybe my target audience in terms of how they process things like um, what I'm putting in front of them. So I suppose to try and bring this to a point, it's, it's like um, I'm putting undue pressure on myself to achieve X when I don't properly understand how long it will take me to get to X yet. And I think that's fine. I, I, I'm, I will get a clear understanding over time. Um, so if I speak with 100 agency owners, so let's say I, I roughly spoke with 100 agency owners in 2023, um, which is good because that was netting out at, you know, about 15 conversations a month. And probably was a few more, but my point would be that, you know, I was able to win X clients through those conversations. I was able to book X discovery sessions through those conversations, which meant there were the majority of those 100 conversations didn't come to anything. Um, they might be people that, you know, I, I catch up with occasionally now. They might be people that I haven't spoken to since. They might be people that I'll probably speak to again this year. I suppose they're in the pipeline or they were in the pipeline and now they're maybe in a revisit bucket or something. Um, but while that's given me an idea of of where I can set my expectations, this new, I suppose, 
month's worth of data that I've gotten since Christmas um, is shaping, again, where I set my expectations in terms of how many people I should need to speak to and how many people I would need to get to a discovery session to get the number of clients I want and should have. So I'm putting pressure on myself based on um, six to seven months worth of data and notions or ideas about what pace I should be moving out at. In three to four months time, I'll nearly have a year's worth of information. And I should be in a much better place to say, look, realistically for every 30 people I have a conversation with, five will book a discovery session and one will be a client. If, that, if those were my numbers, it would be fantastic. I think it's probably not quite like that, but anyhow, you can apply it to your own business. And I think it's important to be ambitious, but also be honest with yourself. Um, because as I mentioned yesterday and, and probably the day before, running your own business is not really something that's for everyone. And I think the toughest part of it is the responsibility that comes of it in the sense of, I'm not saying it's tougher work or I'm not saying it's more grueling or I'm not saying it's necessarily um, something that only certain like minds can achieve, but the difficult thing is probably the consistency um, and carrying that burden of knowing that if you don't do something today, nothing is happening with your company um, and you're probably gonna suffer more in the future because of your inability to do this thing today. So there's already enough pressure out there and there's already enough pressure on you running your business. Um, you don't need to add layers of pressure. Like I probably was doing on Monday to myself. I was getting kind of a bit down on myself. I was sitting here looking at the screen and I was getting frustrated by um, by what was what was not happening or what was happening and things like that. Um, and then I think an interesting point off the back of that, that I feel is something that we all should or, or could do more of is, is, is get a bit of help or get a bit of support. And the ironic thing about this is that's what I do for people. I mean, I, I help and support agency owners. I encourage them to get that support from anyone. It doesn't matter to me if it's me or not. I just know from being in that position where I was operating a business, an agency, when I look at the people that I got support from in certain ways during that time, tremendously helpful. Um, so all I'm trying to do now in myself and through my business is give people their support in certain key areas to help them improve their business or help them with their own, uh, own lives or own, 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 um, own performance, so to speak. So it's getting support. It's just saying, look, I need help, you know? And I, I think that's important for me to do. Um, I work with someone, uh, you know, on a, on a, I suppose a walk and talk basis where we, where we go through the business and see what's coming up for me. Um, that's a great way for me to unload. I speak to my friends, I speak to some of my family about how things are going. Even if they don't realize it, that's a way for me to kind of get a bit of support or help. Um, in terms of what I'm doing or what's on my mind about the business. And again, I'm speaking about business stuff specifically. I know a lot of people take value from uh, getting support in their personal lives too. Um, and there's a huge amount of overlap in those things because when you're running your own business, it's very personal because it's yours, it's you. So yeah, I think um, just to try and bring all that together, you know, ultimately what we want to try and steer away from is, is putting undue pressure on ourselves. Um, being ambitious is good, but be honest and be realistic too with, with your goal setting and your target setting so that that pressure doesn't build up and up and up. And we don't want it to rise up here, you know, truthfully. Um, because what you'll feel, regardless of any of that, is that running your own business is volatile as it is. So adding more stress to yourself is probably not gonna result in a, a pretty positive outcome. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what's on my mind. And I think, again, it's important for me to even do things like this, like even by doing this video, uh, it's an opportunity for me to, to get some stuff out there that might be on my mind or, or see how I feel after I say these things. Again, I don't edit this stuff quite deliberately because uh, honestly, I don't even really know how to edit videos, but the, the point would be, this is me today speaking to you 
uh, about how things are going for me and what's coming up for me. And I think selfishly, on reflection of maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 of these, um, it'll be really interesting for me to look back and see, you know, okay, on this day in that week, I was thinking this, how have things evolved for me? Um, and likewise, I suppose if you if you watch a few of these, uh, you know, every couple of months or something, you might see a change or you might see a transition in the thought process on in terms of how I think about things um, or how I talk about things or how I talk um, to the camera, so to speak. Um, but anyway, that's going off on a tangent. The, the, the main thing for, for today was really just going through that uh, pressure, expectations and, and not being afraid to ask for support and help. And again, I have benefited greatly from fantastic people who helped me business wise over the last 10 years and specifically in the last five. I still to this day get support and help in my own business, even though it's only six to seven months old. Uh, and I suppose I spend my time helping and supporting people in their businesses that have been operating for somewhere between three and 10 years. And yeah, I suppose it's, it, I don't have any concern saying it. I think you're making a mistake if you don't get help and support while you're running your company. Uh, I think if you want to go your, on your own, you're not going to get any extra credits for doing that. Um, you might learn a bit more about yourself, probably not. Just because someone guides you or advises you in certain things doesn't mean you can't learn about yourself and, and make mistakes and learn from those, etc. I don't think anyone who's a consultant, advisor, coach is going to sit there and just give you the answer. Um, because it's your problem, it's your challenge, you have to work through it. So you might get a perspective from John, who's got 30 years experience in coaching. You might speak to me, who's got 10 years experience working in advertising or or marketing and who's done X and Y. And then you might speak to your partner and he or she has been working in a certain industry for 10 years and probably knows way more than John or I do about what you're talking about, knows you way, you way better. But you take all three of those people's perspectives and you, you, you have to decide what you want to do yourself um, based on what is facing you. So yeah, get help and support to help with decision making, get help and support to just get different perspectives uh, on how to handle certain things and um, yeah, take a bit of the pressure off yourself really. So um, that is all I think for today. Change the scenery tomorrow. Try to change off the camera angle a bit today, but yeah, change the scenery tomorrow. Excited for a client session and yeah, a bit of travel should be good. So early start, but we'll see how we get on.